My friends call me Oz. You can be my friend if you like. But not for reals. Just for the internet purposes. Alright, this guy's taking forever to save. Um, my goal this year was to try to record and share more music and more music stuff. And so here on the 6th of January, 2023, is the first thing I might actually upload somewhere for people to observe. Hopefully no one will watch it. Uh, my, my motto in this is avoid success at all costs. Uh, and I hope that that is going to be true for this project. <laughs> um, I'm not particularly excited about doing this. I, I don't, it's not a thing that I like doing. I don't like being in front of crowds. I get very nervous. Uh, and this feels like being in front of a crowd. And, uh, yep. All right, I am here in my favorite hoodie of all time. And I'm going to talk about uh, a problem that I have, a bad habit that I'm trying to get rid of. And it involves the hand. And I, I've come up with a strategy for uh, resolving my left hand issue. My issue is that I overuse my pointer finger. And I, I can't uh, get that angled better. All right, so over here, oh, and you can see the, uh, the fam over there. So I, I'm very dexterous with these three fingers, right? Okay, cool. Now Ableton's working again. That's good. Uh, so the uh, the issue that I have is I'm. So plenty of dexterity. I can do a lot of stuff, but I am obviously down a whole finger because this pinky is just dead weight. And it makes it difficult because playing the melody with the pinky doesn't, I, I don't know what it is. I can't make the right shapes to make it sound the way I want it to sound. But if the melody is a little bit lower, it's easier for me to improvise it. Uh, and so having access to my first finger is much more valuable for upper melody. And that's kind of was the realization, right? I want to be able to play the melody the high melody with my index rather than what I have been trying to do, which is the high melody with uh, my pinky. And I think probably it's because it's about four frets, right? Four or five frets, that is the, the difference. So it's like a major third or a perfect fourth. Uh, and so playing a perfect fourth out of, like, I, I feel like that's just maybe getting me to a, a, an interval that's not as nice uh, compared in the tuning that I'm in. And I'm in a uh, layover tuning. Um, on the tuning database, I think it's actually called layover tuning. Um, kind of gunk, um, but <clears throat> it's uh, <clears throat> excuse me, D A C G C E. It's a little bit of weird tuning. Um, it's a perfect fifth, uh, minor third, another perfect fifth, perfect fourth major third and so it's this uh sort of strange tuning and whatever that is i just can't get the right shape for it but the opening to layover he's he's playing that high with his index and like the rest he's sort of driving his pinky off of the index which i feel like you can ha you have a little bit better control over the melody when you do that and so i, I feel like there might be like a, a directionality that you can use there so he never really slides down with the pinky tends to slide up and I, th I think that makes sense right like uh, I root here and I know I'm up a up a fifth or up a fourth rather so if I'm you know I can sort of that's a, a minor third so that's actually what he he does a, it's from a second but um, so it's right so that movement the moral of this story is that movement uh, is essentially 
the problem that I have. I'm not using my, my index, so I need to lead with my middle finger rather than leading with my index, which is what I do now. So like if I'm playing uh, a riff I play a lot, which is a... Right? So that little thing, I play that starting and sort of rooting my index. I think if I just root the other finger, it naturally puts my hand in a position where I have pretty good dexterity, even though my pinky's not well trained. Um, so I feel like just like a, a week or so of practice, I'll probably have this. And if I can sort of root this, uh, this thing, I just need to relearn some of these shapes, right? So I'm playing like... Initially, but that's the that's the thing that actually gave it away is I think the exercise I, I do an exercise already because I um, that involves a lot of improv and I call it the repeat game and the idea of the repeat game is that you improvise on the guitar play literally anything however long whatever tempo doesn't matter just pick one roll a dice if you have to and start playing when you hear something you like repeat it repeat it over and over again until you play it exactly how you heard it in your head and now that's filed away in your head. And if it comes back tomorrow when you practice, do the same thing. And eventually you'll just have this database of riffs in your head. And you'll be able to use those to just sort of chain them together to make you a very adept improviser. At least I, I like to think it does. It seems to have worked for me. I, the stuff I play, I like a lot more now. It's a lot more in tune with what's in my head. And the nice thing about it is it's kind of a way to learn anything, right? You just kind of do it and if you fuck up whatever, just repeat it whenever it sounds good. And you are you can pretty much learn any instrument that way. You just learn totally by ear. Uh, and then if you have some theory background, you can kind of bring that back in after getting adept on the instrument, which I, for me, I learned a lot more theory when I got better at playing my instrument and not the other way around, right? Theory never made me better at playing. It only made me better at understanding why I liked what I liked. <clears throat> so all that said, I'm gonna go do that now, and that's gonna be the rest of this video. I'm gonna play this new game where I do the repeat game, but I start by doing it rooted with my index, now rooted with my middle finger. And I could theoretically do that with the third finger, or even the pinky. Um, but I'm only going to do, I think, index to middle, and then I'll sort of work my way up. Um, but I, basically, the idea here is I'm not actually even going to play with a metronome. I'm literally just going to play. Uh, I'm using Ableton only for the effects in my ear, just to make it a little bit louder and sort of take out some of the, the room. You're going to hear the raw guitar right through that mic that's right about there that you can't see. Um, yeah, and then I'm going to upload that, and that's going to be the thing, I think. Uh, okay. <clears throat> so, like I said, I'm just going to jam and do my new version of the repeat game, and we'll see how I feel at the end. I'm hoping that what I get is a little bit of, like, not soreness, but just, like, well-usedness uh, in the part of my hand that I don't play as much with. So it's going to probably be more in the ring and pinky finger. Uh, and if I'm coming out of this a little bit, not quite sore, but just like, oh, I use it, I can already feel it a little bit, uh, that's a sign that what I'm doing is building up some muscle, and I think that's good. Uh, and I'll just be careful not to overdo it. Um, you should always make sure that you uh, warm up first and, you know, stretch your hands and all that. I should also probably play to a metronome. I'm not gonna, because I'm anxious enough. Uh... <laughs>
very close to the lick there. like that groove but it's it's really it's i i very it's very ingrained in the first two fingers and i can like feel the pull constantly i definitely am feeling it a little bit in my hand which is part of why i stopped as well um yeah i, I like that the exercise is a lot of fun um it's what's really nice is i can sort of I, one of the things i struggle with uh <laughs> struggle with uh, when rooting sort of more on the index is uh, sort of sticking to a chord change so let me let me see if I can get into a different there's a different um, let me see if I can get into a slightly different groove because it'll be easier to show if I uh, hopefully it'll be a little bit slower is the main point like a little bit less uh, rowdy <laughs> So like if now if I so I've played that sort of main thing now I want to play a different thing rooted on a different chord that is not the root of the key. This is where I have trouble because I I'm using this string so I don't have something I can reliably hit to remind people what chord I'm in. So I kind of only get to do it once. Tell you oh I'm around the you know the four or I'm around the five or I'm around the flat seven or whatever, and. I can't uh, keep reminding people unless it's an open string. So I end up around the D or the E or the A in this case. Um, or I end up around those open strings and I sort of over rely on them. And then I, I'm sort of stuck in a certain sort of looping kind of like homotopic thing almost. Um, that's from homotopy theory. I'm a math guy too. It's going to be, this. these are going to be weird videos. I just... I want you to understand that this is going to be very strange this experience for you and i don't recommend it i can't emphasize enough how little i recommend watching this uh in any case i i uh i think that's going to be it for this one uh i do want to practice some more i'm probably going to practice some more not recording myself so that i actually get something out of it because this is very nerve-wracking uh until next time <laughs>